Today for this application we're going to recommend Sega Myrex. The first step we're going to do in installing the Myrex is take a measurement across the length that we're going to install and we're going to cut the Myrex. Our dash lines again are four inches apart. That is our required overlap. Plus signs are 10 centimeters apart and to this dash line here from the next dash line is one meter. So this helps with measuring in the field. Myrex does uh, transport vapor in one direction only. So we always want the printed side facing into the installer and the blank side facing into the wall assembly detail. I'm going to take a cut through the tenet at the top of where our membrane is going to fall and this will allow me to work with just the lower portion as we work across. Take your knife blade, get into just the backing to peel off easily uh, so that the adhesive is exposed. So now we have the Myrex positioned across the top of each row of Twinette. It's beneficial to start in the middle, reach under the Myrex, and pull the Twinette all the way down, pressing on firmly as I go. So now I have the center stud pressed firmly into place. I'm going to continue working out. If you end up with too much tension and you're not able to grab your Twinette, I'm just going to reach down and actually work it from the bottom. So now we're going to work on the top row. Pull the Twinette backing paper down to where I can reach from the ground. Take my cut length of Myrex and I'm going to install it across the top. Start roughly in the middle, press into place and continue pulling down the Twinette backing and then work to the right and work to the left to secure the Myrex fully. So that was how to mount the Myrex. Thank you for watching.